Yeah, I tell you, I've always been fascinated with actors' early jobs. And I read once that for a while, didn't you work as a truck driver? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so what was that like? I drove every kind of truck you can drive, from little seven tons to rigs. So was that, uh, was that an enjoyable experience for you at the time? I loved it. <laughs> uh, I was young, in, in my 20s, uh, out of college. I had usually at least one job, sometimes two or three jobs uh, a day. And uh, most of the time I liked being outdoors, and uh, I found driving was therapy. It really was. It was a time to think and reflect, and uh, I was doing lots of writing at the time and getting sort of prepared for my career to come. So I, 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 I love driving trucks. I, I've driven everything. I drove up motorcycles for money in New York. You know, uh, you and I have something in common in that we both made our major motion picture debuts in the film Foul Play. Uh, I was an extra in the uh, San Francisco Opera House scene at the, uh, the Mikado. Oh, is that uh, right? Yeah, and that was. Were you uh, moved from place to place? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. And that was that was kind of a, an intimidating experience, and I was wondering how was that movie for you? Your your. It was my first movie, yeah. and it was intimidating for me. Yeah. I had a line with Goldie, uh, "You have the most beautiful blue eyes I've ever seen." She says they're green, and uh, my lips twitched all through it. I, I couldn't get rid of the twitch. I was in fact infatuated with Goldie at the time. In fact, we we were both uh, pretty infatuated with each other. Uh, so it was difficult enough to say it, but not being a, a, an actor who had much sense of how you relax and control. And, uh, so she had to sort of pull me through that. I felt intimidated. You know, I've liked uh, the films that you've done where you've done uh, dramatic turns. Uh, this one, uh, Memoirs of an Invisible Man, had a lot of like, serious moments. I really enjoyed uh, your work in that film. Has there been a reluctance to let you do drama? Have you ever detected that? I'd say that I learned a lesson with uh, memoirs in that, um, and I guess it's a lesson that all movie stars learn, which is that the audience buys into something about you early on that they like, and they want to see that. And there's no reason I should be doing movies that Harrison Ford does. Harrison's not about to go off and do vacation. Uh, it's not that Harrison and I aren't friends and aren't somewhat alike, actually. It's just that audiences expect uh, you to be a certain way, and uh, some kind of adventure uh, in a sci-fi genre with John Carpenter uh, and, and all the hard work I did in that film doesn't necessarily mean the audience is going to buy into it. They mm -hmm. smell going in whether they like the picture or not, whether they're going to like it. Yeah, I remember when that film came out, uh, there was a real sense of pride with you, of your work in that film. Was that frustrating for you that it wasn't uh, a bigger box office hit? Oh, it's always frustrating, <laughs> only because uh, some of the best pictures I think I've made, and I wouldn't say that that was one of them, but uh, didn't do diddly. And some of the worst went through the roof. Uh, the fact is, since I loved making them, it's the act, act of making them, the, the production, and then the post. Uh, the, the, that, that overrides all of that. Uh, but uh, this, this, is a, this is a risky game. It's a gamble, what I do, as you know. I'm, uh, there aren't many of us who get to, to the level that I'm at and, and can hold on to it. It's a sine wave, and you have your ups and your downs, and you just hope every time that you'll have a, a big hit or that people give you some kind, sort of credibility. And, now, with this movie, there's a, a great scene with the pushing the uh, grapefruit, uh, trying to pick up the grapefruit, uh, you and George. And <laughs> yeah. I'm just wondering, how difficult was it to film that scene? It wasn't that hard to film. Uh, it was hard for George and I to hold on to the grapefruit, keep our hats and stuff on, make up, uh, make, uh, hit the right marks as we went. Uh, there are various points where the camera has to f refocus and refocus and refocus. Uh, I mean, any scene in a movie is, is, is requires certain abilities physically and uh, as, as an actor. And, uh, that one was hard because it was hard to keep the bugger under your neck, you know, under your chin. Uh, it was harder for George even, but for me, uh, I remember writing a line, and I think this thing is uh, just broke, uh, just popped on me. I'm getting grapefruit juice down my uh, shirt or down my chest. Uh, in fact, it hadn't popped, but I said the line anyway. 
Uh, but that wasn't easy to do. We kept dropping them and we had to keep reshooting it. Okay, great. All Don't right. ever do a picture <laughs> where you have to do a grapefruit race or, or for that matter, uh, potato bowling. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks very much. It's a right. pleasure meeting you. You too.